Hey guys, it's me. Um, I wanted to do a quick haul video. I just got back from shopping with my mom again. Um, it's been a few weeks, so we haven't been going out as much lately because there was just a bunch of things going on and stuff like that. So I did want to get started and show you what I did get. First, we'll start with Bath & Body Works. I had a coupon. It was uh, get $10 off when you spend $30. And there was one main reason why I went. Now... I had to get, Mom and I smelt this. I know it's become like a cult favorite um, here on YouTube. We had to get the espresso bar. Now, um, I got my mom a little package just like this. I had them wrap it up for her for Mother's Day. And I gave it to her while we were still in the store. Because she's been wanting. She's like, oh, let me pay. We'll go half because they were two for 22. I was like, mm-mm. No, this is your Mother's Day print. So what I did was... I got her the espresso bar, which smells so freaking good. Here, let me read you the bottom. In Italy, you never take your coffee to go. Instead, you stop and savor the aromas of roasted espresso bean and sweet vanilla froth that inspired this fragrance. It's delicious. I can't wait to burn it. And on top, like, and this looks just like the one my mother was given today. And on top is a little lemon jello. I have one out here, too, because they were three for ten. So I got those. And it's the lemon jello because she liked that too. So I got three of these little guys and I got two of the espresso bars. And I gave her one of the lemon jellos and the espresso bars. And it was wrapped up really cute like this. Which I thought it was sweet. They did it for both, but they didn't have to do it. But that's nice. And this, oh, does this say? Raise your glass to this fragrance inspired by Italy's beloved drink, lemon cello. And it's notes of Sorrento lemons, cane sugar, and a hint of lemon zest. It smells like lemon pez. Oh, Desi really likes it. It's a really nice fragrance. And I think that this is going to have a really good throw. I'm definitely going to be using this. Desi wants to get close. I'm definitely going to be using this one in my bedroom for sure. After I'm done burning the one I'm burning now. I'm burning one of my favorite candles right now which is Sun and Sand from Yankee Candle. Oh my God, to me, it's summer. I love the smell of that candle. You gotta smell it, it's so good. You done? Okay. Thank you. Ooh, okay. You wanna say hi's? Let's say hi's. Let's say hello. Let's do a little dance. Do a little dance. Make it love. Get down tonight. No. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I upset you? I upset her. Anyway. Next I went to... Well, I'm going to show you. I got this from Macy's, but I told them I already have a bag, so don't give me a bag. Um, this I got on sale. It was 50% off. So it was... That I had 20% off of that. I think it was like $13. But the reason why I got it, there's this other dress that I've been wanting. And it's kind of been difficult for me to find... It's made by Iron Fist, and the dress is absolutely gorgeous. But every time I find it, they don't make it anymore. So the people that do have it on eBay and stuff like that, they want astronomical prices for it, and I refuse to pay that. So this was very close to the dress that I had fallen in love with. It's got this really pretty floral pattern, and there's little birds on it. But what I like is this heart cutout in the back, and it looks super, super cute. And for the price, it was right. I just purged through all my clothing. I go every few months. I go through all my stuff. I try it on. If it's something I'm not feeling anymore or I'm just kind of over the style, I either give it away or um, donate it or whatever. I dispense it throughout. There's a f what? There's a few different things I do. I donate certain clothes. I'll put on Listia because that's a free website. So I really, it's not selling, but you know. I put it on there for people or I'll give it to family and friends. So I do that every so often and I purged through some, um, a lot of dresses. I went through a lot of dresses. So now I'm looking for new ones because I just didn't like the way the old ones were on me anymore. Next, we went to Tarjay. My mother hasn't been in there in years. I'm like, really? I do so well in there. Well, normally we do. We found some great clearance, but because it's the weekend of Mother's Day, tomorrow is Mother's Day, and people were everywhere. It was a mess. Anyway, the first thing I did, and I had a coupon for it, which is the main reason why I got this. It was on clearance for $5, and I paid 4 for it with my coupon, which is a great deal. 
Um, it's Pantene Pro-V's Repair and Protect uh, Shampoo and Conditioner Mix. Joey is running out of shampoo, so I figured I would pick him up one. He likes the combo. I normally don't. I like controlling how much conditioner goes in my hair because sometimes I've noticed these make my hair oily. But um, Joey doesn't have that problem, so that was that. And the next thing I got from there, and this one I was really ecstatic about. Oh, it's so pretty. So the one thing I don't like, and that's this belt thing it came with, it's all like on the loops funny and stuff, so I gotta fix that. But it is one of those, like the bottom is see-through skirts. You can see up here is the little mini skirt. And then the rest of it is a see-through. It looks so awesome on. Now it's made by Exhilaration, and it's originally $24.99. But I paid $7.48, which I thought was so worth it. It looked absolutely amazing on. The only thing I don't like, like I said, is this stupid thing. I think it kind of ruins it. Anyway, it does have belt loops, so I think with a little gold skinny belt, this is going to look so cute. And for the price, can't go wrong. And I've always been very intrigued with these. I know this is like a hit or miss, um, what's the word I'm looking for, trend. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are over this trend, but I thought for summer coming, this is just going to be like so cute, like on the beach and stuff like that. It's just got that really fun, romantic -y feel, and I like that. Next, and lastly, we went to Kohl's, and I really wasn't planning on spending anything there, but I mean, their clearances, I always do awesome on, guys. As you know, I am like a clearance freak. Anyway, I saved $109 this time. Not as good as last time, but I did really awesome. As you can see, I got a full bag of goodies here. And I'll show you the whoop, 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 whoop. receipt. $109 doll hairs. Love it. Anyway, the first thing I got, because every time I go to buy a pair of these when I need them, they're super expensive. Now, these ones were originally $12, so I mean... Um, a bit pricey, but I picked them up because they were on clearance today. I'll probably go back and get more next time. Anyway, these are a pair of fishnet stockings. I love fishnets. I think they just make certain outfits just amazing. And they were 80% off, so I paid $2.40. And plus I had 20% off of that. So I paid... What did I pay? Well, I took it off at the bottom, but you know. It's like a dollar and change for them or something like that. Oh, love it. I, I just, I love the look. I mean, you know, guys, I mean, you can tell I'm into a very rock and roll. Um, that's kind of what my style is. I'm very rock and roll chic, I guess. And these are like a staple for me. But I always, I mean, they're kind of fragile. You're always going to end up breaking them. They're not going to last forever. Actually, the pair I have had the longest are my rock aware. They've lasted a very long time. They're made very well. But I don't like spending $12 on them because I know after a few wears, they're just not going to look as nice on. So for $2, you couldn't go wrong with that, you know? The next thing I found, and I was really stoked about this. This was 90% off, guys. This is a two-piece pajama set. It was originally $40. I paid $4 and plus the 20% off of that. Now, it is Christmassy, but I mean, I really don't care. I'm not going on public in these. It's got these little reindeer on it, and it is so cute. Look at the reindeer. Aren't they adorable? And it is so soft. It's that soft fleece that I just adore. And it came with the matching pants. They're so cute. Like I said, for the price, I wasn't going to pass it up. Like I said, with the 20% off using the which was like $3 and change, and it's just soft, wonderful. If this is like in the wintertime, give me this hot cocoa and you will not find me for hours next i had to get a pair of work pants and i've been having every girl says it i'm sure i have such a hard time finding the right fit now i love this company this is joe benbasat love this company but i don't know i'm normally like i had to get these in size 11 and i'm not a size 11 but because they were such a low rise, they didn't fit or feel right on me. So I ended up going up quite a few sizes to 
get a good feel. But it was worth it because these things, where's the, they were 70% off. So they were only $13.20, originally $44. So it's not that I don't like spending money on my work clothes. It's just, what's the word I'm looking for? Certain things I don't mind spending money on. But when it comes to a basic black pant, I don't think that you have to. Like, I was looking at other brands while I was at Kohl's, and some of them were like $50, $60. And they looked no different than this pair of pants. And that bothers me, you know what I mean? I don't like spending, I don't mind spending for quality items. I don't. Um, I would have spent probably about, at the most for these, about $30, $44 is a little pricey for me, um, normally. But 20, 25, yes. So I, I, like I said, I have a hard time spending money on stuff like that. But these fit beautifully. This is the LA boot cut and I liked it because it wasn't, I tried the flare leg on and I felt like I was wearing pajamas. It was a little too big for me, but it fits in all the right places. It fits very nicely. Just that I was wearing the wrong underwear when I was trying these on. So I had big panty lines all over the place, but, um, I love this company. It's just, ugh. I don't think any girl likes trying on pants. But I need a few more work pants. Because I don't have enough to get me through the week. So I'm constantly washing them. And they're wearing out quicker than I want them to. Which is not good. Because I don't like buying these things. It's not a fun thing for me to do. So I'll have to go back out and get some more. But I really love this company. I love this company. The last thing I got. And this is probably one of the purchases I'm most proud of. Not because... But the price, just because it is so cute. Now, th this um, brand I always am hit or miss on. I love some of the stuff, but it just doesn't look right. Or her stuff is just ugly. I don't want anything to do with it. Anyway, this is the Vera Wang collection. This is the Princess Vera Wang. So this is the Junior's collection. But look at this. Is this not the most beautiful top you have ever seen? I love that it's got this fake necklace on it. And as you can see, it's got, well, you really can't see. It's got embellishments. There's actual little, like, rhinestones on here. I fell in love with it the moment I saw it. And it fit, like, perfect. It is beautiful. And it is the softest thing you will ever see. Anyway, this was originally $38. It was 70% off. So I paid only 11 and change. Plus, I got my 20% off coupon. So it was cheaper than that. So, but... It's so cute, and this is lightweight that I can wear it all year round. I can layer it and stuff like that, which I really love. I'll be getting a lot of wear out of it. And look, like some of her stuff I find a little tacky, but this I thought, oh, it's just, it's so princessy. I wish more of her stuff was like this. Very simple, demure, sexy. I love it. So in total, I didn't even go, go near spending $100. I think altogether I spent maybe 60 which is typically like that's my little spurges every couple of weeks is doing like a 60 dollars little spurge and then i'm good for a few weeks i'm almost done with my shopping as far as clothing wise i just gonna get more stuff for work anyway i will see you all soon guys thanks for watching say hi desi i really appreciate it definitely subscribe if you haven't and desi doesn't want to say hi Say hello. Say hello. She does this thing. There's this one song that if you sing it, she always makes these weird noises. So we're going to do that one of these days. I think it would be really fun. But anyway, guys, I'll see you later. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.